Hey what's good guys, it's Zach here with Android Police, welcome back to another episode of Making It Mine, this time around featuring the Galaxy Note 8. I went ahead and linked as many things as I possibly could down below in the description, so make sure you check it out. Now upon waking the device, here is the lock screen, nothing too crazy going on here. This wallpaper is from the WallP application. Unlocking the phone, here we've got my Pixel 2 inspired setup. Thanks to Nova Launcher's latest beta, I can easily emulate the dog found on the Pixel 2 with the Google search bar. The icon pack I'm using right now is the Pixel icon pack so as to keep the look and feel consistent. I've got my most used applications here on the home screen and I like to keep things nice and clean so I don't have a lot of icons scattered all over the place. This of course allows me to get a good look at this live wallpaper which is found on the Pixel 2. Gotta love the way this one looks. And up top there, I've got a Zuber widget using the Trident 3 skin to get the Pixel 2 event and weather widget. Now, as I usually do, I hit the status bar, again, to keep things nice and clean. But of course, since I can't see my battery percentage anymore, I decided to add a battery percentage widget also using Trident 3 for Zuber. I have the Nova Google Companion, which allows me to get Google Now here in Nova Launcher. I love this feature. And you may have also noticed that my nav bar is that of the Google Pixel pretty much completes the theme I was going for with this setup. Moving on to my next home screen, just like last time, I have the month calendar widget. I'll probably be using this one forever. If you haven't tried it out yet, I highly recommend you do so. Right below that, I've got this widget here from Weather Timeline, which is my go-to weather app. I love the way it looks, I love the way it works, and it is absolutely perfect for AMOLED displays. Right below that, I've got something I recently came across. This is Sign for Spotify, and it's basically a customizable widget you can use to get quick access to your favorite Spotify playlists, artists, albums, and more. Swiping over to the next screen, up top I've got a widget from Hurry. This is basically a countdown app. So for this one, I've got it telling me I've got just a little time left before my Pixel 2 XL arrives. Can't wait for that. And the great thing about this is its customizability. You can change the colors, you can add a background image of your choosing, and when you tap on the widget, it'll bring you to this page where there's a little bit of trivia based on the time remaining in the countdown. It's pretty neat. Right below that, I've got two YouTube channel subscribers count widgets, one for my personal channel and the other for the Android Police channel. It's definitely a good way for me to get inspired to work extra hard to get those numbers climbing. Now just like the Pixel 2, I swipe up from the dock to get to my app drawer where I like to keep things organized with folders. Notable things here would be my customization folder, which stores all of my icon packs, widgets, and live wallpapers. Some of my favorite things in here would be the Magic Particles live wallpaper. This looks awesome. There's the Material Notification Shade, which is what I use to make mine look like the one found on stock Oreo. I've got a games folder, which stores games I've become pretty fond of, like Fat Bunny, Pianista, Sidoid, and Schnips. You should definitely check these out. There's the tools folder where I have some very useful apps like send anywhere and we transfer for file sharing, parcel track to keep track of my packages, note in which lets me quickly jot down a note or reminder that instantly gets tossed up into my notifications, it's super handy, and changes which lets me get a quick look at all of my applications change logs. Lastly I have the walls folder, this is obviously where I keep all of my wallpaper applications. Notable ones I'm using right now are Fondo, this one's free and it's got a very unique set of wallpapers, backdrops which we all know and love, minimalist wallpapers for when I'm feeling extra minimal, and pixie walls which consists of wallpapers inspired by OnePlus's Never Settle slogan. And last but not least for you Android OGs out there, how many of you remember this live wallpaper? If I'm not mistaken, this one was pre-installed on the Nexus S from 2010. This is the Microbes live wallpaper and I remember when this one debuted and how much I enjoyed it years ago. So I knew I had to get it again and in my opinion, it looks great, especially on this display. Now it's not in the Play Store anymore, but I did leave a link for it in the description so you guys could try it out. So there you have it, that's my Galaxy Note 8 and how I've made it mine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the Android Police channel if you haven't already. That does it for me, I'll talk to you guys later, and thank you so much for watching.